Hey guys, welcome to another video. My name is Antonio and I hope you guys are having an amazing day. What the heck is on my t-shirt? Look at this deodorant. Come on, Antonio, put this away already. Put it away. All right, now we're good, now we're good. You guys, we're making a quick video, how to break in your cleats. Now, these are already been used by clean the crap out of them. So really guys, if you're gonna be breaking in your cleats in water, in the tub, this is what I do, this is my process, but I would recommend you cleaning off your cleats. If you use them or anything, make sure that you clean off all the dirt and make sure that they are spanking clean. Oof, they smell good. I clean the crap out of these because you don't want dirt to be going down your drain or anything and clogging anything up. So make sure to clean your cleats, be responsible. Uh, the best way to do this, honestly, is just as soon as you get the cleats, I would just start this process because then they're all ready clean and ready to go because they're right out of the box. Um, so here, let's go, let's do it. Also, shoehorn, man. They should have included shoehorns with the cleats. They should have. They should have done it for us. The shoehorn's important, man. Got the cleats on, guys. There we go. Not white anymore. Oh my goodness. But here, guys, all we have to do, get the cleats on. Now we start the tub. Key tip here, guys. Make sure to get the drain down so that way the water will flow into the tub and then stay in the tub. You don't want the water going down the drain. That's not what you need. All right, literally, so I'm in here and you don't wanna do this for too long. You don't wanna do this for too long. So now we're in here and start running the water. Make sure it's as hot as possible. And what you want to start doing is just try to get your foot in there. The water's already boiling hot and feel it. You just kind of want to start wetting the toe area. And it's always as hot as hell. And then you want to get around the heel area, just like this. And you want to do this for a max of five minutes maximum. Five minutes max. Now, toe area because that toe area is the most stubborn usually and then the side area so that it expands and you want to get the heel again ah, it's gonna be hot but most important thing and also keep switching just keep switching keep putting hot water on the spots that hurt usually the most for you so for me, it's always like that toe area, kind of like the inside area of the cleat. And then switch to the outside. Try to really do this evenly as possible. Let the water kind of sit there, hit it kind of hard. And come in. Now toe area. Once we get some more water in here, like we do now, you just want to start getting in here and pressing down your toes so that way the cleats start wrinkling up a little easier and you get into the water wrinkle so press your toes down all right thanks to thicker hot water press your toes down a couple times five or six times here all right most important part is also breaking in that heel. So you really want to get your heel in there. Just like this. It's going to be super hot right now. I'm like burning my heel, but it helps a lot. Try to get through like the plastic areas too of the cleat. Now switch. Like that, keep moving your heel around so it's even distribution of the heat. We're almost at like three minutes now. We just want to keep going a couple of five minutes. But you just want to copy that exact movement and then once again, now that there's more water in the tub, 
you got on our toes, both feet, and your toes. Be sure to hold on to something. I'm holding on to my bathtub, but I may get up like this. And start kind of leaning up to the side a little bit so your foot kind of rolls in it. Get some material on the upper a little softer. And then you just want to do a full submersion. The last step, just flip and get in there. Let it steam. Let it wait for like a good minute under the water. So now the water's getting deep enough where your full boot is literally submerged in there. Kind of just keep it submerged as much as possible while letting the hot water hit it for about like a minute to 30 seconds. Now switch. Keep that boot submerged as much as possible. Now that the water level is pretty high. Move your toes as well, guys. Try to move your toes in there to get the water in there a little bit. I'm moving my toes up and down in the boot. Try to keep your stuff submerged as much as, much, as, much as possible in the water. Now we want to get that instep area a little bit like this. We're about to be done. Now we just want to do that with this. Get the toes kind of moving. You can see the material already softening up really nice in there while you're moving your toes. Kind of like move into the and in out of the water. All right, get that instep for the final touch. All right, we're hitting about five minutes, so just cut the water off. Do one more set of the calf raises with your boots on. Kind of like raise your boots up and give them a little like toe wiggles. You do a little of the toe wiggles in them. So wiggle your toes in the cleats, pushing them up and down, trying to get the fabric. Now roll your foot out, get that material nice and soft, even rolling it in if you can. Like that. Perfect. All right, and then just drain the tub and then I'll follow the next steps and we'll be good. All right, so that's draining now. That's awesome, super fun. Now all we wanna do is kind of just sit in the cleats for a little bit. Say for like a good like three minutes, you kind of just wanna let the heat just kind of get cool, but allow them to cool in your boots. So cleats will cool down. Yeah, they're wet. Super annoying, I know. But you kinda just wanna do some like natural movements of like just walking back and forth. So luckily I have this kind of like towel thing laid down. Remember everybody has a different process, but this is what I do. Feel the water kind of moving in the cleats. Come over, walk on our heels a little bit. Like that. Awesome, do some side stepping and um All right, and then just wear them for a good like four to five minutes while they cool off Because the cooling off will also mold the cleats a lot better It's been like five minutes just me going back and forth You can just literally just be watching a YouTube video kind of just do some calf raises while you're walking around in this little area so let's take them off now. Alrighty, you got the cleats off. They look beautiful, look at them. And you can tell that they're definitely gonna be softer, more pliable to your touch, everything. Look at that, like, look how soft the material. That's why it's super important to keep them on after you take them off so that they cool down in your foot because that way, they'll start molding to the shape of your foot a lot better because of how soft the material is. So that's why you wanna keep them on for like a good five minutes 
even like 10 minutes if you really can keep them on for like good 10 minutes while you're out of the shower that they can start molding really well because once they're wet like this and the material is like this soft I promise, man, they're just gonna start molding to your foot. So you wanna keep them on as long as possible, up to like 10 minutes. That'd be really clutch. All right, so now that they're cooling off, they're wet, do not dry them with a blow dryer. Do not throw them into the dryer. Do not do that, for the love of God, don't do that because it's gonna ruin the cleats. It's gonna, it might shrink them unevenly. It might also unstick the glue. You do not want to do that. So just keep them like here, wherever. Don't put them outside. Do not let them heat up in the sun because if they're this wet, it might shrink in the sun depending on like the type of material your cleats are made. So just leave them naturally in the house or in the garage somewhere to like cool off and just relax. And I promise you, once you wear them, you'll be good to go and you'll be super super happy with no blisters and you'll feel like you pretty much have been wearing these for a long time but they're brand spanking new you don't want to do this too often too you only want to do this like once or twice ever with the cleats because it's not worth it just break them in if they don't feel like fully broken in just wear them after this because it's just too much give or take it's going to break in the cleats too much and material might not uh you know like that depending on what they're made out of so only do this process like once or twice for the life of the blutes and then you're good all right guys i hope this really helped hope you guys have an amazing day take it easy much love and stay tuned for the next one make sure to like comment subscribe all that good stuff yeah